Hi guys, welcome to JNC's tutorial once again. And this is Claire. Um, at the moment, we're here in our website, uh, JNC's Corner. Uh, you have to discover a little bit of everything. So and you notice that there there is a tutorial category here on the right side and this is where you're going to see this tutorial and we're going to discuss today about how to lower your custom thumbnail um, file size okay uh, that you will be needing in your YouTube and I made this um, uh, video because there's a youtuber asked me uh, this question and we got RJ play play here uh, thank you very much uh, RJ play play for your questions uh, it's, it goes like this hey JNC why mine is too hard to put my picture to megabytes when I got to my thum uh, custom thumbnail to make custom thumbnails is not accepted my picture what do you do for your PNG to save your picture Thank you very much. First of all, uh, we need to recap ourselves. Uh, what are the, uh, what is the YouTube requirements for custom thumbnail image and resolution? So here it is. So custom thumbnail image should be as large as possible, as the image will also be used as the preview image in the embedded player. We recommend your custom thumbnail to have a resolution of 12,000 uh, 720 x 720 with min minimum width of 640 pixels. Uh, be uploaded in image formats such as JPEG, GIF, BMP, and PNG. And it will remain under 2 megabytes limit. So it's one probably of the reason why um, RJ Play Play did not uh, able to upload because of the limit. Okay, uh, try to use a six by nine aspect ratio as it's the most used in YouTube players and previews. So guys, make sure you have all these requirements uh, in your mind. So for me, what I do when I uh, uh, edit my custom thumbnail. For my YouTube is I go to pigmonkey.com just uh, type it in your um, URL box and you will be directed to their um, uh, site so if you press certain category here on the top you will be directed to their uh, certain options okay so with the PNG you can use the T design say it so you have three options here to start your design okay it's a blank canvas a template so just for this example I'll use custom thumbnail say so because the uh, YouTube requirements is 12 8 12, 1280 so I'll just follow that one so 720 pixels so click make it um, you can use the canvas to have a transparent background or if you don't want that's fine all you need to do is um, go to this overlays where you can upload your pictures so you can put add and then you can get your pictures from this uh, you know uh, sources so like for me, uh, I'll get a picture from from the camera because uh, usually the camera has the biggest file. So so say I'll get this, okay? So I have double click that one. Let's go back to the picture because I want to show you what is the file properties and how big is the file is. Okay. Where is it? So this is what it is, okay? So as you can see, I'll click the properties. 
Okay, right click and go to property. As you can see, it's 3.5 megabytes, which is quite a big um, file, and all the details is here. So the requirements only for the dimension is 1280. 1280 by 720 and this is quite big so what we need to do just click ok that one so just, um, by by doing this actually you are already uh, low, lowering the size of the file if you want to check it try to click save and as you notice the file size is already decreased to 144.2 and if you're happy with this like say you have already like a custom thumbnail ready and all you need to do is just uh, save it you can you have three choices of the quality so shown is the high quality uh, but the file size is also high and Pierce is the middle and Roger is the lowest so if you're happy you can save it to your computer otherwise if you want to juggle around your pictures you can you can put some uh, writings okay add text and you can just add something hello everyone okay. so you can change the color as well like that put it somewhere you like now if you want and then you can save you will be directed to the same earlier now if you want your background to be this white to be a transparent background all you need to do is go back to where did, where did we go earlier uh, the canvas here here on the top the, the basic edits go to the canvas and just click this transparent and it will automatically the background will turn to transparent click apply and if you save it you notice that the white background is gone and there's no options um, whether it's Roger or Sean or something like that so it's directly to 982 uh, KB okay and you notice that uh, those pictures or custom thumbnail with transparent background is stored as PNG so you can change the final name if you want like my kiddos okay and save to your computer say click this um, section here where you want to save it so I want to save it in this file and as you can see it's PNG image and click save okay you can check it in in your computer uh, click save you can search it straight away in my kiddos so that you don't need to search around. and there you are that's how it is so um, I hope RJ play play I have given you some idea on how to um, edit your custom thumbnail by lowering its size it's just the basics but um, you can juggle around on peakmonkey.com all their features and tools how to edit and if you have any more questions you can just uh, leave me a message and uh, I hope you visit our website uh, JNC's Corner and please don't forget to subscribe in our channel and see you once again thank you very much and bye for now